What's up y'all, it's Timmy. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what you need to know on the differences between wood stoves, diesel heaters, and propane heaters. And finally, I'll tell you which heater I personally suggest so you can survive the most extreme winter temperatures in the world. I've been living in Alaska over 20 years and over half of that time has been living full-time on the road in truck campers and in motorhomes. I've personally owned and used wood stoves, diesel heaters, and propane heaters to survive the sub-zero Alaskan temperatures. First, let's go ahead and talk about wood stoves. Wood stoves are a pretty popular choice for van lifers because they're pretty easy to install and they're usually fairly inexpensive. And most notably, a wood stove provides just a rustic, cozy feeling to your van. So the biggest catch to having a wood stove as your source of heat is you have to have wood. Obviously, a wood stove is going to require you to carry a lot of wood, so you either have to figure out a way to carry the wood on your van or you have to find a place to store the wood and go restock often. So if you're trying to just do the van life thing and you're staying kind of in one town or one general area and you can get back to a place where you store the wood, it's awesome. So I lived in a 1989 Toyota RV for about six years in Anchorage, Alaska. So I was based out of the same town. And what I did was go rent a storage facility and go cut all my firewood and stack it in storage. And I'd go restock in storage about every three to four days. So that's how I got by with that. But wood storage is obviously gonna be a big deal if you're traveling around the country and you don't have a set place to go restock your firewood. The other downside to a wood stove is you're going to get a lot of smoke up in the air around your camper, which brings attention to your camper. So if you're trying to stay really stealth and stay warm, a wood stove is probably not the way to go because you're gonna attract a bunch of attention. I've actually had people call the police on me and the police showed up in the fire truck thinking that the camper was on fire and obviously it wasn't. That's something to think about that uh, smoke is absolutely going to attract attention if you have a wood stove in your camper. Now the upsides to a wood stove is number one, it's not going to fail. If you put wood in this thing, it's going to work. There's no battery that's gonna run out. There's no electrical component that's gonna fail. It's going to work. So it's extremely reliable and you know you can count on your wood stove to survive. The other big upside to wood stove is it's a nice dry heat. So if you do a lot of skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, all that stuff, winter sports, you'll be able to dry your winter gear out around your wood stove because it puts out a nice dry heat and bakes all the moisture out of your camper. So next topic is diesel heaters. So we're talking about Wabasto diesel heaters, S-Bar diesel heaters, and just all those cheap Chinese diesel heaters you're seeing all over eBay for $200. This includes all of those. So in general, a diesel heater is probably going to cost you a little bit more than a wood stove. So this Kimberly wood stove that I have in the camper is pretty expensive, it's not cheap. It's definitely an investment. But in general, a diesel heater is actually going to cost you more than most small wood stoves for a van or a camper. Now the downsides to a diesel heater is it's a little bit noisy. You're going to hear a fan going on, you're gonna hear the pump outside, and you're going to hear the exhaust vent spitting out all the diesel exhaust outside of your camper. So that's something to be considered. And also if you're trying to stealth camp and you have your diesel heater on, you're going to hear the exhaust outside the camper and people might know you're in there because they hear your heat going. But then again, the diesel heater is definitely more stealthy than having a wood stove, which is putting smoke all out the top of your chimney. The other downside to a diesel heater is it's mechanical and electrical. So there's things that can fail in the mechanics of it and things that can fail in the electronics of the heater itself. So in that regard, a diesel heater is not going to be as reliable as a wood stove for obvious reasons, because there's more parts, more things that can fail. So that's something to take in consideration. Now the advantages of a diesel heater are awesome. Number one, it's as efficient as it gets. Just a little bit of diesel will get you a long ways. I've done several extended weekend trips in the backcountry and several eight to 10 day camping sessions, winter camping sessions at different festivals. I'll just leave my diesel heater on the entire time and just run it. And I usually use about two and a half gallons for those eight-ish days. So it's extremely efficient, uh, just sips on diesel. And honestly, it's just as easy as it gets for heating your camper. You literally just turn the heater on and let it do its thing and your camper stays cozy all the time. Another big advantage of a diesel heater is if you're gonna be in an area that doesn't have a lot of firewood or you can't bring a lot of firewood with you for a wood stove, a diesel heater is super easy. You can stop by any gas station, fill up your little tank with diesel for the heater and you're good to go. Another advantage to a diesel heater is it's a lot more efficient than a propane heater in that it uses less battery power. So it's not gonna drain your camper batteries as fast as a propane heater. And the final big advantage of diesel heat is it's nice and dry. So it'll help dry out your winter gear. If you're skiing or snowboarding, same deal. 
You'll have dry gear by the morning if you leave it on all night. And finally, let's talk about propane heat. The disadvantages of propane heat is number one, propane heaters are usually pretty expensive. A wood stove is going to be a little bit cheaper, but then the propane heat is pretty similar to the price of a diesel heater. The biggest disadvantage of a propane heater is it drinks battery power. The propane heater is going to use the battery up in your camper way faster than the diesel heater. Usually a propane heater requires a larger fan. It just drinks more power than your diesel heater is going to. So that's definitely something to keep in consideration if you don't have a large battery bank in your camper. Another big downside to propane is it's kind of a wet heat, honestly. Propane emits condensation, so your camper is not gonna be quite as dry as it would with a diesel heater or a wood stove. And the final big drawback to propane is you can't exactly get your propane filled up everywhere. Propane's a lot more difficult to get filled up than diesel, obviously. You're gonna have to have someone fill the propane bottle up for you, and not all gas stations or propane stations can do that, especially if you have an old propane tank. So that's absolutely something to keep in mind. And propane also is not quite as efficient as diesel when it comes to heating in campers, in my experience. So you will go through more propane than you will diesel. So which one of these three heating sources is the best choice for van life in extreme winter conditions? So after considering all the pros and cons of the wood stove, the diesel heater, and the propane heater, I would personally say that a diesel heater is the way to go if you can only choose one heat source for your camper van or truck camper. I've had all three different types of heaters, the wood stove, the diesel heater, and the propane in my campers over the years and the diesel heater is hands down the easiest heating system I've ever used. It's hands down the most efficient, and it's been pretty trustworthy and reliable. Of course, everybody has a different situation, so you might find that one of these heaters work better in your situation, but in my situation, the diesel heater is definitely the way to go. I will say, if you can afford it and you have the space, I would definitely try to get two different heating sources in your camper, and if you do that, I would recommend having a wood stove and a diesel heater combination. That way your wood stove is around and will not fail you no matter what. And you can use that as a backup or for nice ambience if you just wanna hang out in the camper and have a fire. And the diesel heater is what you'll go to most of the time just for the convenience and the consistency of the heat. Well, I guess that's a wrap, y'all. If you have any kind of questions on heating your camper or van, make sure to drop them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you. And other than that, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, y'all.